Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be looking at some $1 metallic liquid lipsticks and we are going to judge whether they are a deal or a dud. I am constantly searching for deals out there because frankly, I'm cheap. I like cheap things. I don't like to pay too much money for stuff. Take for instance, I was going to go onto the internet today and buy a ripped up t-shirt because that's what fashion says to do, or at least I think it does. I'm really behind on a lot of trends. But instead of paying $30 for a t-shirt, I went downstairs to my closet, got one that I haven't worn in about five years, and cut some holes in it. But today we're going to be looking at some $1 metallic liquid lipsticks from Shop Miss A. Now I have this bag full of Shop Miss A stuff, and that bag full of Shop Miss A stuff, and that bag full of Shop Miss A stuff. Because when things are just $1, you're allowed to buy like a hundred of them, right? These are from AOA Studio on Shop Miss A, where everything is one singular dollar. But they are starting to get things that are a little bit more pricey and supposedly a little bit better quality. So I think I'm going to check out some of those things as well. But for right now, we're going to be testing out these $1 lipsticks. First up, we have the shade Moon, which is a nice lavender color. Next, we have the shade OMG, which looks like a beautiful bronzy orange. Then we have the shade Naughty, which looks like a very bright Christmassy red. Then we have the shade Saint, which is like a burnt orange. Then we have the shade Truffle, which is, well, a truffle shade or a like deep mocha. Then we have the shade Diamond, which is like a I don't know what this is, like a deep rose gold? And then finally we have the shade Forever, which is like a deeper, more burgundy red. All right, so those are all the shades. I'm going to be trying all of them on my lips. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see how they go on, the pigmentation, all that good stuff. Everybody, that was me trying on all seven of the liquid lipsticks. I realized like almost at the end that I wasn't zooming out and showing you how they looked on my face, but we're just gonna we're just sh sh we're just gonna ignore that part because my lips are absolutely burning off right now. Some of these were quite difficult to get off, especially this one right here, which is naughty. But I do have several feelings and opinions about these. One, I'm amazed by the pigmentation. I'm sure you guys could see as I was putting them on, they went on super creamy, super smooth. They weren't streaky or patchy. Like I was, I was impressed. The only thing that's really Really bothering me is the applicator itself. I don't know if they just like dry rotted. I don't even know if that's possible. But if you can see here on this one, see how like the fuzziness of the applicator is actually coming off the little doe foot. It's no longer a doe foot. It's more like a hoof because it's just like losing its fuzziness. And this one here, which is forever, which I'm wearing right now and will continue to wear throughout the rest of the day so I can give you guys a little check-in on how these actually wear. Um, yeah, it completely lost its doe foot. It is now footless. It is now just a stick stuck into some liquid lipstick. All the little fuzzy is gone. It is now lost 
forever within the liquid lipstick. So I don't really know what to do about that. I guess if I ever want to wear this again, I could just dip like a little skinny brush down into it and apply it that way. But it is a little frustrating that the applicators are falling apart. But for the actual liquid lipstick themselves, I'm actually pretty impressed. I didn't expect that these would be so nicely pigmented pigmented. I didn't expect that these would be so nicely pigmented or go on so smoothly or feel really nice on the lips as of right now as this one is drying down, which I think it's completely dry now. I don't feel like it's super dehydrating or anything. So far it feels pretty comfortable. I'll see how it wears, but as of right now it feels pretty good. So it is currently 2.33 in the afternoon. Alright, so I'll be checking back in with you guys in just a little bit, so see you then. Alright guys, I'm about to eat dinner, but I wanted to show you my lips really quickly before I started eating. So this is what they look like right now. Things are holding up pretty good. It's currently about 5.30, but we do have some little patchiness happening, and I think that's because I ate a piece of cheese. <laughs> I think the oils from the cheese made the liquid lipstick a little bit sticky, so when I like pop my lips together like that. It's starting to peel up. But I'm about to eat some more cheese and chicken and then I will check back in with you guys once dinner is done. All right, everybody, I am done with dinner and it is currently 6.35. So this has been on my lips for a little over four hours. I'm gonna zoom you guys in though so you can see what's going on because far away, like it could pass. The close up is a different story. All right here is the lipstick close up, and my lips are definitely looking a little rough. They look like beef jerky or something right now. However, the top portion up here that wasn't really touched by food still looks pretty good. All right, so it's seeming like if you don't eat, this will probably last for a long time. But if you're like me, you probably don't go more than three hours without eating. I'm gonna go ahead and reapply really fast just to see how it layers on top of itself. Now, unfortunately, the doe foot for the color that I am currently wearing broke. So I'm not going to be using that one, but I'm going to go ahead and use another red, and this is in the shade Naughty, the one that took me forever to get off before. So let's real quickly see how this layers. So it looks like there are little like hunks and particles of the lipstick like bunching up and it's not really laying nicely over those. All right, so here it is layered on top of itself and I think it did a pretty decent job. It covered really nicely. Those little hunks though that are left behind from the old liquid lipstick, maybe you could like wipe those off if you did have to reapply. The only thing I'm wondering is the places where it stayed intact. If two coats of this would be too thick and too drying. There was a couple times during the day where my lips felt a little sandpapery when rubbed together, but they really never felt like dry, dry. All right, everybody, so my final verdict on these is I personally think they're a deal. I feel like they're probably going to last a long time if you're not eating a big greasy meal like I did, or if you're just wanting to wear them for photos or whatever. Since they are just $1 and they are so pigmented, I definitely think they are a good deal. I will link all the information down below about these liquid lipsticks and Shop Miss A. If you do want to shop on Shop Miss A, everything is one single dollar, and I think flat rate shipping under $35 is $3.95. And then I'm not really sure what it is outside of the US, but all that information is really easily accessible on their page. I'm definitely not being sponsored or anything by Shop Miss A. I just really like that site because I like buying things for a dollar. It's kind of fun. And every now and then you can find some hidden gems. I do have another video coming up very soon that is eyeshadows that I found on Shop Miss A and I've already swatched them because I got really excited and honestly, they're pretty good. Now they're not a dollar, but they are super, super cheap. So that video will be coming up soon. And that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe if you wouldn't mind. It would really, really mean the world to me. Don't forget that we do have a giveaway going on right now. It is either May or April. I don't really know, but that giveaway will be linked down below for your convenience and it'll be on the screen somewhere as well. Again, just thank you guys so very much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you next time. Bye!